Welcome to All Ears English. Shauna, I'm so excited to have you on the show. How are you today? I'm doing really well. I'm actually really excited to share some stuff with you today and to yeah, talk to you about California, my home state. <laughs> no, this is great. I'm excited for our listeners to hear your voice today. Guys, on the show today, I have Shauna Gonsalves from the American English Podcast. She's an ESL teacher from California, and she is also fluent in Portuguese and German. And I love that. I love the fact that you're fluent in at least two other languages, Shauna, because it's so important as English teachers that we speak other languages and that we understand what our listeners, our students are going through. Don't you think? Totally. Totally. Yes. Actually, I found it really helpful in actually teaching English as a foreign language because I think, gosh, you know, if I wasn't actually learning a language, I wouldn't know how I would want things presented. Yes. Know? And yes. so I just, I, I, I like having that background. Do you speak a foreign language as well? Yes. So I speak Spanish. However, I do need to up my game with my Spanish. I have let it drop off over the last couple of years. I lived abroad in my 20s in Buenos Aires and Guatemala and spent time traveling and got very confident, but these days I'm not practicing as much. So I need to bring it back up again. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I totally, I feel you. <laughs> yes. I feel the same way with German. So, but yes. yeah, it's, it's, that's life, you know, if that's life. Yep. Yeah. If you don't, if you don't use it, you lose it. <laughs> you don't use it. You lose it. Well, I'm excited today to talk about California. So you tell me about you and California, your background in California. <laughs> Are you yeah. originally from there? Tell our listeners about that. Yeah, so I grew up in an area of Northern California. Uh, it's actually the last county of the San Francisco Bay Area. So there are seven counties in total. Mm -hmm. I'm from a city called Fairfield, which is right next to Napa Valley. Ooh. So if you are a wine, yes. a, a wino, <laughs> someone who's interested in wine, then yeah, Napa Valley is a great place to go to. There's wineries everywhere. There's Sonoma Valley is right next to it too. So a yep. lot of these wines get exported out of the United States. And so I think mm -hmm. the familiarity with these wines is also known on the outside. So oh, my yeah. city was right next to that. Um, and yeah, and now I live, well, I went to school in Santa Barbara, okay. which is kind of Southern California. It's like right, mid right in Southern between. California. And mm -hmm. then I moved to LA actually only six months ago. So I'm a newbie here in LA. Okay. And so I've been all throughout. If you have a map of California, you'll see that you know, Northern California, like San Francisco area, which is really popular is about six to seven hours north of yes. Los Angeles. And okay. so, Hey, I love it. <laughs> so you've been kind of working your way down the coast, Shauna, your whole life. It sounds like working your way yeah. down the coast of California. I love it. So good. So this is, Thank you know, you. our listeners are excited today. I know because they have a true, you know, California local to give them some insights on, you know, what the locals know. First, before we get yeah. into your three things that only locals know, I would love to know, do you prefer Napa over Sonoma or Sonoma over Napa? What's the better place to go? If we want to have a true California wine experience, what do you think? I've got a great tip for you here. Okay. <laughs> so first of all, it depends on your financial situation. Okay. Napa is more expensive yes. than Sonoma. Okay. Uh, and Napa is sort of like the Disneyland of wine. So you'll see winery next to winery okay. next to winery. Um, okay. I was going to say, if you go on a bike tour, <laughs> it'd be yes. really easy, but I'm not sure it's good to go on a bike when you're drinking. Mm, um, yeah, but I've done it actually. But oh, really? <laughs> yes. I just want to oh, know your opinion, whether you think, yeah, I mean, it is, it can be a little dangerous for sure. So you're yeah. saying Napa is a little more kind of Disneyland ish. Yeah. It's Sonoma. It's, mm -hmm. Sonoma, they're more spread out. Um, I actually like Sonoma over Napa, but there yeah. are, there's certain areas of Napa, like the castle and okay. It's just very pretty, but you can yes. get, you can get coupons online. People, if you do not have the financial situation to pay for this stuff, you can find coupons and get tastings for like very, very little, um, very little money. So I love just it. I love it. <laughs> so good to know. So maybe if we want the true quintessential California wine experience, we go to Napa for a day, but maybe we spend three days in Sonoma and that's where we spend most of our time. Yeah. Something like yeah. that. I love it. Get so a massage good. in the mud bath in Calistoga too. That's so good <laughs> guys. You know, if you haven't visited California yet, you must go for all of our listeners. So let's mm. get into it now, Shauna, let us know what are three things that only locals know about 
about California that our listeners could tap into this insight when they do visit and go and experience the true <laughs> California? What would be your first tip or your first piece of advice? So I've got a very cool one, very okay. exciting one, one that's like, Ooh, and one that's like, <laughs> you know, just a cool tip, but we'll start with the one that's a little bit uh, like a little scary. Um, And the first thing is earthquakes. So (laughs) it's actually something that I don't think you need to be worried about, but Mm -hmm. yes, they are common. If you actually type in earthquake in Los Angeles today (laughs) or earthquake in San Francisco today, you'll, you'll find that on a daily basis, it'll show you a magnitude of one or two. These are earthquakes that you don't feel. I did not know that. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so actually when I was growing up in school, they would have uh, earthquake drills where the alarm would go off in a specific fashion. So you knew it was an earthquake. They wouldn't tell you that it was a fake, you know, a drill. Yeah. Uh, And then, so the teacher would have us run and jump underneath our desks Okay. because you're supposed to hide under a Mm -hmm. very flat surface whenever there's an earthquake because things can fall from above onto your head. Yes. And so- I remember that growing up and actually back in 2013, my boyfriend um, at the time came and visited my family and there was an earthquake in the middle of the night. Oh no. (laughs) And I mean, this was strong. I was laying down in my bed and the canopy, I had a, you know, with the bed post really high and it was shaking back and forth. (laughs) And I I had this flashback from being in elementary school and running and jumping underneath the desk that all I could remember was like, I have to be on the floor. And I remember jumping up from my bed (laughs) and like <laughs> skidding across the floor and my boyfriend was there going what are you doing he didn't even know he was didn't from even michigan know. he didn't even know you're supposed he was to hide not. under something oh man i wonder yeah. what happened to that relationship he was like i can't come back to california <laughs> i can't handle these earthquakes <laughs> yeah but that, once again that's really rare to have that sort of experience and um yes okay <clears throat> yeah so we should so for our listeners we should be aware that earthquakes do happen in california but don't let it deter us from visiting right just be exactly just be aware. you know it is yeah it's a thing for sure exactly but yeah okay. don't be afraid it's yeah. Okay. Good to know. Normal. <laughs> yeah, because I think maybe if we think about LA, we think about Hollywood, but we don't really think as much about the climate. Uh, and mm-hmm. so that may be something that our listeners might not be aware of. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah. And what would be our second thing that we need to know? Shauna? The second thing is California is not just Los Angeles and San Francisco. And I started this by talking about San Francisco and, you know, yeah. and LA, but the state itself is bigger than Germany size wise. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. And there's more people than Canada. So, (laughs) I mean, not to, not to, it's not bragging or anything, but it's a big place and there's so many wonderful places to visit. And so when I hear people saying, oh, I took a trip to LA from LA to San Francisco, I think you missed everything. Mm. You missed everything in between. First of all, Santa Barbara, I mean, I don't want to make everybody go to Santa Barbara because right, right. they don't want it overpopulated. Yeah. But it's the most stunning place with whitewashed buildings. Mm-hmm. They have a law where all the buildings needed to be painted white Is in a it? certain okay. area with the red roofs. There's yes. the beach with the pier. You can go kayaking mm-hmm. um, with palm tree lined beach walks. Yes. Like, yes. Uh, yeah, boardwalks. And just... A, a number of just amazing restaurants, breweries, everything right next to the water. And that's where I went to school. I went to school in Isla Vista, which is right yes. next to the most yes. populated square mile of students between the ages of 18 and 24. If you're in that age, go to Isla Vista. Lots you of will students. be the best party of your life. <laughs> so when we yeah. go, so are you saying that most people make the mistake of flying from LA to San Francisco and they literally miss everything or they just like go through really quick by car and so, you're saying they should stop along, along route one. Should we take route one yes. to get? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So highway one is the Pacific mm-hmm. coast highway, PCH yes. we call it. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. if you go along the coast, you're going to hit a number of incredible cities along the way. Santa Barbara from LA, you go Santa Barbara, and then you're going to want to go to San Luis Obispo, Santa Cruz, um, Cal- uh, what's the name of it? Carmel. Mm. And then when you go up farther, you're actually going to hit one of the places that I think is the most amazing place I've ever seen in my lifetime, which is the Avenue of the Giants. It's where they discover oh, Bigfoot. Yes. Now this is the red the redwoods, right? The redwoods. Where the redwoods. The yes. Redwoods. These trees are taller than three hundred over three hundred feet tall. You walk and you feel like a little ant 
walking mm-hmm. underneath. Have you really ever been there? Am- oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I did a road trip in 2016 and we actually have a, we have a course at Allers English where we take our listeners on this trip. Okay. Um, and so, yes, we go through the redwoods and they are truly incredible. <laughs> I like being in places in the world where I feel small right? To feel small because of nature is such a cool experience, which on the East coast, we don't get that feeling as much, right? Because there's so many people everywhere. There's not as much nature, but I love that about California and the redwoods. And the other one that I'm thinking they could hit is big Sur. Is that, is that between LA and San Francisco? Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Another Mm -hmm. area for great for hiking. Okay. Trails. I love it. So your second tip is guys, get that car, you know, rent a car, but don't just blast your way up. The, is it the five that would five. take them? You know up? it. I okay. love that. Yeah. You know, this stuff. Thank you so much for mentioning those two in your course. Oh, yeah, no, love no. I love California. I'm out there a lot. It's fantastic. Um, we considered living in LA for a while and decided not to, but guys get a car, go from LA to San Francisco, but get out of the car, right? Shauna, that's the key. I love it get out. So good. Yep. Talk to locals, <laughs> talk to locals. They are friendly. Yes. What would be the third thing that they could do? The third thing is actually related to food. Okay. And great. so, uh, actually the California, and I wrote some stats on here because I didn't want to, um, <laughs> do it incorrectly. So California, uh, so agriculture is a significant sector in California's economy producing mm-hmm. nearly $50 billion in revenue in 2018. Okay. And actually one th- over a third of the country's vegetables come from California and two thirds of the country's fruits and nuts are yeah. from California. I believe so, that. So mm-hmm. we actually grew up in, um, and yeah, I told you in an area that was like surrounded by agriculture yeah. and, uh, and there was a valley that grew wine near me and nice. I worked inside. My first job was actually working at a fruit stand. Oh, and so cool. a lot of people came in and said, Hey, you know, is this local? Is this local? And yeah. really the only thing, things that were not local were, uh, uh pineapple and bananas. <laughs> And so, uh-huh. and then the, the potatoes were from Idaho, right. but everything else was from California. And so one of the things I would recommend for people coming to the, uh, to California would be go to the grocery store, get some fresh produce. Yes. Don't just go to fast food restaurants. I know that it's tempting because we have so many <laughs> options in California. Go to in and out. In and out. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's so Don't funny. go to McDonald's. Yes. Yes. Just I love it. Out. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, go to the grocery store. Everything's everything's fresh. Even oh. at restaurants, there's a big push for the, you know, farm to table mm-hmm. and everything that farm is outside. It's yes. all throughout the valleys. Yeah. I love that. That is so true. Mm-hmm. You know, when you, when you visit uh, New York, Boston, Washington, DC, <clears throat> there are other great things we can do, but mm-hmm. you just, you get a, you order a salad in California and that plate is so fresh. You, you just know the, the vegetables are bigger. They're fresher. They're more green. They're just beautiful. So guys yes. indulge Shauna's third tip here is indulge yeah. in the local food and so much of it is local. Shana, yeah. I love watching you talk about your state because I can tell you love <laughs> California. That is so cool. It's so cool to love where you come from. Yeah, yeah? it it is. And uh, do you do you love New York? Were you born in New York? I was born in New Hampshire, actually. New I've been Hampshire. part of a transplant. I've been oh. all over the place. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sure I've heard so many wonderful things about, you know, the nor- Northeast, Vermont, yes. New Hampshire. Oh, yes. 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 Yeah. So we'll do another theme. episode, another day for our listeners on that. But guys, mm-hmm. you know, this has been great. So do you have any final words of wisdom, Shauna, for our listeners on visiting California? Any final message you want to let them know? Mm, just come. Just come. Just 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 come. Don't be tempt just instead of just wanting to book your trip on the east on the east coast. Yes. Which, um there's so much to see out west. Totally. Even if you steer away from California, go start in California and steer away from it to go to um Arizona and Utah and to go to the all the national parks. There's so much to see out here. So just do it. Oh, wow. Yeah. I feel like it's time to book my next road trip. Now you've yeah. gotten me excited about California again. I'm so excited. So guys go take that trip that you've been dreaming about. Now's the time. So good. Shauna, where can our listeners find you online, find your podcast and what you're up to? So I am on all podcast apps. So if you go to Spotify, if you go to iTunes, all of them, and then, uh, you can find me at American English or on Instagram at American English podcast. 
Perfect. This has been so much fun chatting thank with you, you so today. Much. Yeah. Thank you so, for coming so on the show. We're excited to have you on again soon. Take care, awesome. Shauna. Have a good Bye. one. Bye. Bye.